Hello and welcome to this video. Working with Firebase is great. Working with Sapper is great. Working with Svelte is great. But working with Firebase and Sapper together is not so great. Because I had very much problems to import this Firebase package and there are some problems here. So one problem is that Rollup will not import Firebase as it should. So there I found a solution on Stack Overflow. So here we need to go into the Rollup config.js file and there we need to tell Rollup which named export we need to import. Thanks to Mr. Tiago by the way. Ok, I will also put the link in the description, so we need to add these two lines and if you want add additional things like the authentication, you need just to add this here. Ok, that's it for the rollup config and then I created also a firebase.js file. This firebase.js file has no static import for Firebase but a dynamic import. So let's check this code a little bit more in detail. So in my template I added a CDN link to Firebase and Firestore and then when the user comes from the browser I just return window.db and this is because in my client.js I initialize my Firebase application and then I set my window.db to app.firestore. So on the client side everything work from the CDN Firebase and that's it. And then in my else condition when the user calls this uh, Firestore function on the server I make a dynamic import of Firebase and then I check if this Firebase.apps.length is zero and when this is the case there is no existing Firebase application and then I initialize a new Firebase app and I return this app.firestore and when there is an existing application I just take the first or zeroed application and I return the Firestore. Ok, and then when I go into my index.svelte file, I just import this Firestore function from my Firebase.js file and then in the preload function I call this Firestore function with an await and then I get this DB and this DB I can use it as everywhere with Firebase. So now I can get the collection on the server side and also on the client side. So let's check this in the browser. Here I am on the home page. This is the index.svelte file and now I switch to the about page and then I switch back to the home page and you see into the network details that we got a Firebase request. Then I go to the Firebase console and I add a document. And then I go back to my application and then I switch again to the about page and then I switch back to the home page and I see that this gets updated. So this request comes from the client side. And then when I go into the source code I see that my list is also rendered on the server. So that's it for the video. Please click on the like button and also subscribe to the channel if you are not subscribed. And by the way, this code is also on GitHub. Thank you for watching and goodbye. And by the way, when you find a better solution, please tell it in the comments. Bye-bye.